Hi guys, my name is Jeff and today I want to share with you a way of approaching geometric questions. Most of us are familiar with circle geometric uh, theorems, but unfortunately when it comes to solving problems, we just st struggle, we don't know where to start, we don't know what to touch. So in this session, we are going to come up with a helper who is going to assist us to solve circle geometry riders. So there is a person who can help you solve, solve your circle geometry riders. Who is that person? Can you make a guess? <laughs> no, it's not me. Who is that? It is Dr. Cape Town. Yes, we call him Dr. Cape Town in short. So what does Dr. Cape Town do? Whenever you are faced with a problem, read carefully the information that is given. Go to your diagram, analyze it thoroughly, interrogate it before looking at the questions. Please don't look at the questions. Deal with the diagram before getting to the questions. Yes. So I want to take you through the process of using Dr. Cape Town. So when a question comes, look at your diagram, look out for the diameter. So when you look for the diameter, if you identify a diameter, you need to think about this theorem here and all the other theorems that are connected to the diameter. When you are done with your diameters, look for any radius in your diagram. And if you look at your, red, at your diagram and you identify any radius, think about this theorem and all the other theorems that are connected to the radius. The other common case is the one that is more ready on your situation. So this and that become equal and it gives you an isosceles triangle and you know what happens, this angle will definitely become equal to that angle. When you are done with the radius, you need to check if there is any cyclic quad in your diagram. So when you look at your diagram and there's a cyclic quad, think about all the theorems that are connected to the cyclic quad. For example, this angle here must be equal to that. This angle here and that angle here are supplementary. So when you are done with the cyclic quad, you can go ahead and talk about any parallel lines. If there are any parallel lines, you can see that this angle here is equal to that. And this angle here is equal to that. We, and remember, whatever you are going to state, it needs a reason. This angle here and that angle here are supplementary. So when you are done with all the parallel lines, you need to look for any tangents in your diagram. And when you, when you are looking at tangents, check for any theorem which is connected to the tangent. For example, this theorem here, or you can have this setup of two tangents from a common point outside the circle. When you are done with this, you need to think of any other theorem that you have come across. Put as much information as possible onto your diagram. And when you are doing this, I advise you to use different colors for, for the diameter, for the radius, for the cyclic quad, for the parallel lines, so that your diagram can show some simplicity by putting different colors. Some of the things, they start to become so visible. Be careful not to use too many colors because you might end up getting confused as well. I promise you, if you apply Dr. Cape Town on your problem, you are going to have all the answers. 
And when you go to go on to look at the questions, you are going to discover that most of the answers, if not all, are already on your diagram. What you just have to do is to extract the answers, put them down as statements, and you put the relevant reason. Are we together on that one? Great. So now let's try and apply Dr. Cape Town in a rider. There you go. This looks familiar. This is one of those scary riders where you have got an ugly diagram and you don't know where to start and what to touch. These are the situations where you need to invite Dr. Cape Town. So let's try and feed as much information as we can onto this diagram and see where we will end. So if you look at D, we look at all the diameters in this diagram, and there you go, the diameter in green, and this gives uh, us a right angle here. And there is another diameter in the smaller circle, but this one is not subtending any angle, so we can just uh, move on. So we go on to look at our radius. So there is a radius there that we are putting in yellow, and another radius, look at this one. This one is cutting this code. And you know the story, it bisects the code. And you think about all those theorems. Uh, there you go, there is another radius here, another radius here. Remember, this is equal to that. And there is an isosceles triangle here formed. So these two angles are equal. And all these are ready. They are all equal to each other. There is also another radius on the smaller circle and another radius on the smaller circle. And these are equal to each other. Now, let's go on to look for any cyclic quads. And you can see the cyclic quad that we are highlighting in white. And because of that, we see that these two angles are equal. And also, these two angles, the in opposite interior angles, are supplementary. And the same applies with these two supplementary angles. So there is no more uh, cyclic quad here. So let's go to parallel lines. And we have highlighted our parallel lines in pink. And because of that, we start to think about all those alternate angles, co-interior angles, uh, and it gives uh, rise to these two angles. These are corresponding angles. They are equal. We also have another pair of corresponding angles. So after that, we talk about the tangent, and we are highlighting it in light blue. Then there is another tangent. Remember, when you see a tangent, it clicks in your mind that Tancor theorem is a suspect. Angles from a common point outside the circle is another suspect. So let's see what is happening here. There you go, your Tancor theorem. There you go, another Tancor theorem in action. There you go, another Tancor theorem. There you go another Tancord theorem. And also, the, these two lines are equal. These two lines are equal because they are tangents from a common point outside the circle. And we are looking at this from the, uh, the perspective of the bigger circle. And if we also look, there is also the smaller circle. The same theorem is applying. Now, if we have a look at your diagram, it looks so much beefed up. There is so much information that we have added. Almost every angle is highlighted. Almost every line is, is highlighted, which means all the questions that are going to follow, they are already answered. What you just have to do is to extract the relevant answers, put them in a statement, and put a valid reason. This is how Dr. Cape Town works. I hope you have understood this and I wish you all the best 
with your circle geometry questions. Goodbye.